My name is Amelia. I'm a public health educator at Maine General Medical Center. I provide drug overdose education and help support our harm reduction needle exchange. This presentation will cover basic information about hepatitis C and people who use drugs. So what is hepatitis? The liver is a major organ in the human body that does an extremely important job. The liver breaks down alcohol, drugs, and chemicals to remove waste. When there's too much alcohol or too many drugs in the body, the liver is overworked and it can become inflamed. Hepatitis is a virus that directly impacts the liver and causes inflammation. When the liver is inflamed, it can't perform its functions as well. This will result in hepatitis symptoms like tiredness, fever, yellowing of the eyes and skin, and significant weight loss. There are five types of viral hepatitis, but I'll be focusing on the most common type of hepatitis in Maine. That's hepatitis C. You can get hepatitis C from your blood touching someone else's infected blood. Blood-to-blood -blood contact commonly happens with sharing needles or injection drug use equipment like TENS. It can also be spread from toothbrushes, razor blades, or nail clippers, anytime when there is a possibility at all of blood-to-blood -blood contact. After coming in contact with infected blood, symptoms may appear anytime from two weeks to six months after. However, you can have zero symptoms for decades and still have hepatitis C and still give hepatitis C to others. There is currently no vaccine for hepatitis C. So a question, what is the most common way to get hepatitis C? When are people often engaging in blood-to-blood -blood contact? Sharing used injection drug equipment like syringes or other supplies with others is the most common way to get the disease from one person to another. The only way to 100% not get hepatitis C while injecting drugs is to use a clean, unused needle every single time you inject, or straw, or pipe. It is important to remember that someone can have zero symptoms of hepatitis C and still have hepatitis C. You never really know unless you are tested and they are tested. It's important to use clean needles. So can you cure hepatitis C? Not only is hepatitis C the most common type of hepatitis, but hepatitis C is the leading cause of liver failure and liver disease in the United States. Untreated hepatitis C can lead to liver damage that will last a lifetime if it is not seen or by a doctor and treated. More people die from the complications involved with hepatitis C as compared to HIV. Thankfully, there is a tra treatment for hepatitis C that is curable. If treated early enough, there will be no long-term liver damage from hepatitis C that is treated and cured with medication. However, you can become easily reinfected with hepatitis after treatment if you come in contact with infected blood again. It is important to never share injection drug use equipment. This is why needle exchanges exist, to get people new, clean needles to use. Maine General operates two needle exchanges locally to help people who use injection drugs